Hello, peoples and humans. So today we got Clancy sour cream and onion flavored potato chips. But I am a potato chip connoisseur, meaning I will eat most different brands and flavors and textures and types of ways of cooked potato chips. So I already opened this bag because we got these from Aldi, hence the Clancy's. Clancy's is usually an exclusive Aldi's brand. And these were $2.19. And I, like I said, I already started snacking on them. I didn't snack too much, but if you can look and see inside, they look less potato chippy, more like wafer-y. And like, full bag. About a quarter air. I mean, this looks a little bit more than half of the bag to me. But just for consistency's sake, I'm gonna let you hear how the texture sounds. Now that was a more airy chip, so we're gonna look for a more true chip chip. Maybe like this one. But as you can see, they're more like wafer looking, like a really thin cracker, than an actual like potato chip texture if you sort of compare them to like the texture of a Lay's potato chip. Now, that lets me segue into the next thing is they do taste more like a cracker type of chip than more of like a regular potato chip or for our friends in the UK, a crisp. All right, they taste more like a cracker with a sour cream and onion flavoring on top of it than a regular potato chip. It's a little less greasy, so for my slightly more health conscious friend, but that aren't too health crazy, that don't just don't wanna feel guilty about junk food, this might be a good friend of yours because it doesn't leave as much oil residue on your fingers as a regular potato chip. So in my head, that makes me sort of assume less grease involved in the cooking process. So they're definitely not a regular potato chip texture, but they're not a kettle cooked chip texture either. They're very much a very thin wafer or very thin cracker. But yeah, only two nineteen at Aldi's. They're not gonna be for everybody. They're not very pungent in the sour cream and onion flavoring. They're more neutral, but they're not bland either. So buy it at your own discretion. These were like pretty all right. They're not my favorite, but I'll eat them because they're not bad. They weren't great, but they're not bad. All right, as you can see as well, my vibes are a little different from the other person doing reviews on this account. But hopefully you sort of like the differences in how we do our food reviews. Later.